Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth Ham, and I offer writing tips and inspiration for writers and aspiring authors, as well as sometimes I do discuss uh, grief and uh, the emotions that go along with that. So if that sounds like something that you would like to hear, go ahead and click subscribe to my channel and then click the little bell so that you get a notification whenever I post a new video. I try to post twice a week. Um, right now it's kind of in a trial basis on the exact days, but as um, soon as I get a rhythm down, I will probably be posting more towards the beginning and then more towards the end. And um, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> chat with you today while I drink some coffee and I decided to talk a little bit about my novel um, and the journey that I have been on with this novel. Um, in some previous videos I spoke about my poetry collection and right now those are basically with the beta readers and they will have them until June 15th. So I'm kind of on a break with that. Um, I will be working on the cover for that book but I also have my novel which is on the back burner and I will be pulling forward come July. So I know between May and June I want to basically plan this novel and try to put, plug in some of the holes and everything with it. But along with that project came a lot of self-doubt. And if you're a writer or even an author, you understand what self-doubt is when it comes to your work. And with this novel, I have over 50,000 words to it. It was basically done from front to bottom, but there are a lot of holes. There's a lot missing. And I had someone look over just the first chapter, probably, excuse the dog barking in the background if you hear that. Um, it is Mother's Day and uh, actually he's going crazy because my grandma just came over. So sorry about that. But um, anyways, what I was saying, I had someone just look at the first couple of chapters of this novel probably around Christmas time and I was a little bit discouraged not because she was mean but because she kind of kindly pointed out to me that there were holes there was a lot missing that first chapter wasn't as strong to grab the reader's attention and <clears throat> I had to step back a bit and think about it and then I began to come up with more ideas to take this towards a young adult audience and um Basically, um, I had another friend read that chapter and I had the characters in that chapter uh, probably around 20 or 21, but she was like, Liz, have you ever thought of writing young adult? I think that this would capture young adult. And I had to think about it for a minute because I'm like, no, I had this whole thing planned. So I don't, I'm not one to listen to somebody and run with what they're saying off the bat. I have to think about it <clears throat> and I have to mull it over and decide if it's right for me. I, I'm a little bit stubborn in that way, but um, after thinking about it, I have, uh, I think I pretty much have a clear picture of what I want for this novel. But there's been a lot of self doubt that goes along with that on this journey so far. <clears throat> if I'm completely honest, I wrote the first, very first draft of this back in 2013 for a NaNoWriMo. And I worked really, really hard and I got my 50,000 words in and I got it done and I was so happy. But I knew that it wasn't complete. I knew it wasn't done and I worked on it again a little bit here and there. But um, I have a really 
a loving husband who is supportive of my work. And he has reminded me on more than one occasion, you know, that novel you were working on, is that something that you're going to bring out and actually finish? And I was like, well, it is finished, but I knew that there were a lot of holes, and there are. So um, basically with this novel, um, I plan on just doing the whole nine yards. I'm going to do a storyboard. I'm going to outline. And this is new for me because I'm a what you would call a pantser. I write just off the top of my head. I do better that way. Um, but... As you can see, the frustration and the self-doubt and just everything I think would go away if I actually sit down and plan like I should. Because um, actually for this past NaNoWriMo, I wrote a fan fiction for a show that I like to watch. And um, I did the whole fic. It, it was 50,000 words. And honestly... I planned that one so when I sat down for each writing session I was able to just crank it out because I knew what was gonna happen next I knew what the end game was I knew the plot I knew what would happen I knew about each character and how they felt and how they would handle certain things you know what they looked like and because it's fan fiction fan fiction is based off of a character that's already set in place but I took these characters and basically you know it's kind of easy because that part was done for me um, how they would react or what they looked like but I did it in an alternate universe where it wasn't aligned with the show I put them in a completely different universe so um, that I learned that month this past November that planning is important and so because that was just a stepping stone teaching me what planning is. Now with my novel that I will be working on again um, come NaNoWriMo in July, I, these are characters that I have made up. I have to get to know my characters. I have to do my storyboard and my outline and sit down and try to imagine this entire world. Now. This is going to be more of a historical fiction young adult. Or, yeah, yeah, young adult. And, um, slash romance. I don't know. I, I have to figure out exactly what genres. But it will be, um, historical fiction will be a part of the work. So, I do have to do my studying on this certain era of history because I think it's important to try to implement um, reality or what was going on during that particular era so that you get it right, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly 100%. Because it is fiction, but I don't want to, on, this, on the other hand, I don't want it to be way off, if you know what I mean. Like, of their dress or their culture and stuff like that. So, I am really excited. And a lot of that self-doubt I have been pushing away and moving forward. Um, I, the way I do that, I, um, I'm constantly filling my mind with positive positivity. I follow people on YouTube and my job is set up in such a way that, um, I can listen to them, to their little videos they put out while I am working. Now, if I'm on the phone, I have to push pause and, you know, do that part of the job. But I have been blessed with this job because I can sit there and I can listen constantly to other authors who have actually done this. To people who talk about storyboards or outlining or how to write this or that. And I, I feel like it's such a work in progress. Um, someone said... Um, recently that there you can only get so far on free con content and free things and that's true and recently I have been investing in myself by purchasing not only these inspirational books but um, just things that will help me 
purchasing, putting money out there that will help me in the long run with what I am doing. And I was looking at this writing class, which I will be on vacation for the beginning of it. And basically, I'm going to try to take maybe a writing class this fall. I'm not 100% sure. But I feel like as a writer, you can only get better, you know. Um, so practice makes perfect. And so I will just keep practicing and I really hope that, you know, this year I will get the first draft completed. I need to sit down and I am probably going to put out a goals uh, video coming soon, possibly for the months of June and July. And, and I want to map out my entire year. I, I am learning that planning really is something that I have to do. I used to fly by the seat of my pants and everything I did. But as I add more and more things to my life, I am finding that either I'm running out of time or possibly there are days that I just don't want to. But if I have that planned, there's no way around it. I need to get it done. Now I'm all for self-care and I'm all for taking a day off when needed. But honestly, if you continue to do that, then what is the purpose? You know what I'm saying? You have to, I know I'm the type of person, I have to tell myself I have no choice. You have no choice. This is here, you need to sit down and write whether you feel like it or not. And nine times out of 10, mostly 10 times out of 10, by the time 10 minutes are done, I'm really into what I'm writing and I don't wanna stop. So, um, I think that self doubt will go away. Um, I'm, you know, it's just a battlefield of the mind. You have to learn to kick that out and say, no, I can do this. And practice makes perfect. So I don't really have a title for my novel. I have one in the back of my head, but we'll see. You know, I think that it might take a little bit of time to actually come up with the title for this. But I'm really, really excited to do that. And I'm just really, really excited to get my poetry collection out there. Um, I am kind of anxious and trying not to think about it that I have beta readers reading it right now, but I am so excited. So um, with that, I think that's all for today. Um, if you like this type of content, like I said at the beginning, go ahead and click subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I publish. Um, I have been publishing um, on Tuesdays and Fridays, and I haven't decided if it's better to publish on Thursday or Friday. I'm still working on that, but um, Honestly, uh, if you have any questions, um, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I will be happy to um, answer them possibly. And I want to know what project you're currently working on. Put that in the comments below too and we can help each other and encourage each other in this uh, journey together. All right, I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.